name is Justin Schaefer. I'm doing a persuasive presentation on why to invest in the real estate. Alright, I'm um, starting off with the housing market. Of course, the housing market, there's tons of houses on the market. It's a, uh, they have plenty of short sales, foreclosures, and bank owned properties. Um, there's plenty of deals out there. You can get them for half the cost that you normally would have paid five years ago. Um, the interest rates are low. You're looking at for a 15 year, it's 3.831 percent, and for 30 years, 4.606 percent. So they're extremely low, lower than years in the past. Okay, buying versus renting. Um, you think about if you're renting right now, and you think about buying a home. This is pretty much tell you why you should buy instead of rent. They're almost exactly around the same index, which basically means the same money you're going to pay in rent, you could buy another, and probably less now. Okay, plenty of incentives to, to buy houses, invest in real estate, um, create a positive income, so that way you can have positive cash flow each month. Consider passive income because you usually once you get it up and running, you don't have to do too much to it to collect the cash. Um, get equity from uh, your house. The more you pay it off, the more equity you're going to have in the house. The more uh, improvements you do, the, the more equity you're going to build. You can sectionate the house, which you get your guaranteed check each month. It comes to the first of the month. You get it right away. Um, for a two bedroom, the rent is on average between $1,100 a month and $1,300 a month. And for a three bedroom, it's $1,350 to $1,500 a month. Um, with there being 2,439 properties, under $100,000 today in Baltimore, I'm sure you can find a deal. And then also, there's 1,146 properties under 50 grand. So there's plenty of deals out there. Also, if you're not a hands-on person, you don't know too much about it, you can uh, hire a property management company and they'll take care of all the problems. They'll give background checks on um, the tenants. Who are, and then uh, if there's a problem, they can evict them. They can do all the paperwork for you so you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is collect them in print. Along with investing in real estate, you're going to get several tax deductions. For one, you're going to get the interest that you pay each month on your loan, you're going to get that back. Um, on credit card purchases that you purchase on the home, you're also going to get that interest back or it's deducted from your income. Um, depreciation. Certain things that you do for the house, the money that you put into it, it depreciates over like 27 years, I believe it is. The repairs you do to the house, that's all tax deductible. <clears throat> Traveling for the, the investment property. Any kind of travel you do, you get 51 cents a mile, or you can do it where you get paid for the gas and um, like your insurance and all that kind of stuff all added together. So that's big. Also, if you're doing real estate, maybe it's in another state, you can deduct airfare, hotels, meals, any kind of expense. Um, also, if you have a home office, even if it's just filling out some paperwork, signing a lease, you can deduct internet, cell phone, you know, part of your electricity bill. Any of the uh, employees or independent contractors you hire, that's all deductible. Whether you have, whether you get big enough that you have a whole bunch of employees under you, workers' compensation, all that. Um, um, any kind of service that you get done. You know, whether it's you have to pay $50 to get a lease written up, that's all deductible. Or you get your taxes done, that's all tax deductible. I believe that's it. Thank you. Very nice. Nice job. Good work.